Today we're going to be making a delicious turkey meatloaf with all of these ingredients. The recipe that inspires um, this meal is linked down in the description box and it goes into great detail on all the ingredients that you need. You can see them all visually here. I do a few little substitutions and tweaks to things like using liquid eggs instead of actual eggs, things like that. Um, and I use portobello mushroom caps because they're just easier to dice up. Little things like that I've learned along the way. Oh, and everything is gluten-free in my recipes because I can't eat gluten. So I start off by dicing up all of the vegetables, which in this case are onions and mushrooms, and also some minced garlic. I used the jar kind of mixed minced garlic, and then added some olive oil, and let that saute. While that's sauteing, I start getting some of my other ingredients ready. Measured out the milk I need for the recipe, and measured out the eggs. It calls for two eggs, so I needed, I think, a half cup of the liquid eggs. So I measured those out, and I started making the half of the ketchup and Worcestershire sauce, um, mixture that goes into the meat. You make another portion of it that goes on top of the meatloaf. So started to add all of those ingredients into the bowl and taking moments to go ahead and stir the mushrooms and onion mixture on the stove. I added the milk into the gluten-free breadcrumbs that I made from, I think about two or three slices of gluten-free bread and then started to mix the meat and those different ingredients together. Once that was all mixed up, I started making the ketchup and sauce mix that goes on top of the meatloaf. And I added my seasoning. I used uh, Daddy Hinkle's, it's a seasoning that we buy, and some black pepper. Then once the onion and mushroom mixture was all heated up and all the liquid had come off of the mushrooms. I mixed it in with the meat and other ingredient mixture until it was well blended. And then I put it into a baking pan, a loaf pan in this case, that I had sprayed with cooking spray. Made sure it was all spread out nice and evenly. And then I topped it with the other portion of the ketchup and Worcestershire sauce mixture. And then it went into the oven. I cook mine a little warmer than the recipe calls for. I did the oven at 450 for an hour and I actually probably would have done it another 15 to 20 minutes if I would have known what um, the inside was like. It's a very, very moist recipe, so I like to almost dry it out a little bit. Then I mixed up some instant potatoes, and this is what it all looked like plated up. And here's me taking my first bite. It's so good. It's so savory and delicious and not dry. It's perfect. So give the recipe a try and tell me what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.